to my channel it's sarah elizabeth here and i'm back at it again with another video so in today's video we are going to be doing our makeup so my makeup routine has definitely changed since the last time that i posted um excuse the conditioner the air conditioner sound i can't get it to turn off for the love of me but yeah so my routine has changed and i just want to give you guys kind of an update and as well try a new product line while doing the same routine yeah i'm gonna be trying a new product line um by merit this is their packaging super cute i love the package let's just start with that the packaging is so cute. it's very minimalistic product line um it's just basically really just to help enhance your natural beauty and i love that i i'm all for it because that's really what i've been trying to transition my makeup routine into doing which is you know being just just putting on makeup to enhance beauty instead of like just packing on the makeup like I used to do for whatever reason. Um, I have been feeling like less is way more these days, especially with work. You know, it's easier to just do a light, quick routine that just emphasizes or enhances my natural feature, my natural features, and just gives me that awake look for the whole day. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and if you are, thank you so much for continuing to support my channel and me. Um, it means the world to me. I always say this, but literally, it's crazy because I have so many people watching me, and it's just it doesn't even feel real sometimes that. I'm I'm able to just be myself and then have people enjoy who I am. It's I'm just gonna be uh, priming my face with this Too Faced Hangover Primer. Love this primer. I don't think I'll ever switch up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Too Faced Lip Injection Plump on right now, just so they'll so that they'll be plump by the time I'm ready to do my lips. I'm gonna use the complexion stick to basically just cover up those imperfections that I have. Um, and then I'm just going to use their buff brush to blend that out. It's very dense. I love that. I'm just going to blend that in. The skin, as you can see, it's literally dis... My, that dark spot literally disappeared. So now I'm going to go in with my highlight under the eye. I'm going to be looking a little crazy, but don't worry. Trust the process. And I just take a little bit, put it under the eye, like that. Directly, because I feel like when I'm using a small little mirror, nothing, nothing blends out right. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. I need the whole, the whole picture, the whole, the whole view. Okay, so I feel as though I blended it out well enough. Um, you will look a little ashy <laughs> right here, but like I said, trust the process. So now I'm going in with my contour stick, my cream contour stick by, what is this, Black, Black Radiance. Um, in the shade 8003. I always use this stuff, love it. I'm just gonna contour the cheekbones like that. And I really love this uh, contour stick just because it gives me like a red-ish like undertone. And I love that because I do have a natural red undertone. So this just helps bring it back out when I'm doing my makeup. And then I just blend that out with my stippling brush by e.l.f. I believe this is an e.l.f. brush. The tag came off, but nine times out of ten, it's e.l.f. And I just make sure, like, I kind of, like, blend it up because I don't want to pull down my face. Okay, so now that we have that blended out, I'm going to go ahead and take my foundation, my Infallible Pro Matte. Um, I haven't been doing using this as much as I used to. I switched over to um, NARS, their foundation. 
but I just left it on accident at home. So I'm gonna be using this. So I'm literally just gonna do a few dots as you saw and take my foundation brush by Real Techniques and just blend out all the lines basically. Blend everything out with that foundation. Being careful not to lose anything, not to lose any of the contour or any of the highlight, but just making sure everything's like blended and whatnot. Making ourselves look a little less ashy. So now there's that and it literally looks like skin. I've just I just love this routine, I love it. So now that she did that, I set my face before I move on with anything else. So I use the Morphe, this is my go-to. I don't use any other setting spray. This is the one for me and I'm the one for her. So this is the Morphe setting spray, setting spray the continuous setting spray, love it. I feel like it just, it brings everything together no question about it and I just let that sit and then once that's set I go ahead and set my face with this Sasha Buttercup and then my Anastasia contour palette in the shade medium dark this is medium to medium tan medium tan they stopped making medium tan in this contour palette and i'm so sad about it because as you can see i'm almost out i still have a little while to go just because i don't use that much but i this is the only contour that i've ever really used that i enjoy um so i'm gonna have to figure that out before i, I uh, run out and detail my nose. And then I take that up into the eye as well for my eyeshadow. And I feel like this contour powder and the contour uh, conceal stick by Black Radiance blends very well because like I said, the concealer has a very, it has a red undertone and so does this contour powder and they just mix very well. Like I, I haven't switched up this part of my routine ever. Like I, I'm solid to it. I'm gonna stick beside it until I can't stick beside it no more. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the foundation brush and just stipple back in or press everything in. I'm not adding any extra foundation to the brush, just using the leftover of what was. And just pressing all that in and blending it back out. Okay, I'm trying to hurry before my natural light goes away. I think, why am I taking so long? Like, you guys come here, y'all make me nervous. So now I'm going to go in with my eyebrow by Merit as well. It's the eyebrow um, pomade in the color shade black brown. It just comes with this little brush right here. And I love, I love, love, love it because it makes the eyebrow routine go by quicker. in the shade black brown. Oh, it's getting very, very much natural. Okay, now I'm going to use this highlighting illuminating stick. It looks like this in the color Kava. And just put a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of highlighting. I know, it's crazy. 
Hold on. Hold on. I almost forgot my blush. I'm gonna put my blush on for sure. Now this is a little special occasion type thing for me. I don't usually do blush on a regular, but today let's do blush. A little berry look. It's actually really pretty. I'm excited. It comes off really smooth. It's like you barely have to apply any pressure. I love that. Okay. Hmm. I'm not mad at it. It is a little heavy, but um, this is my first time using the cream blush, so I don't know if that's normal or just what's going on right now. Okay, I like it. I'm not mad at it. I love this. I really, okay, Mary. You blend in super well with my, my makeup and you might have to replace a few products. Now I'm gonna go in with my finish the eye and do my mascara. I usually only do mascara now because I've taken a break. I've taken a break from lashes. I used to get the extensions all the time and I just need my lashes to go back to how full they used to be and long. I kind of want to try the rapid lash growth. A few people talked about that and said that if you're consistent with it, that it works. So I might try it, I don't know. Okay, okay, so this is the finished look. I love the way that it came out. Um, like I said, this is the way that I apply my makeup now. It makes it look way more skin-like, just more natural and more, just more focused on enhancing the natural features. Um, with giving still a full beat, period. <laughs> okay, so I love this, okay. Let me set this down really quick. Merit. This brand, Merit, right here, she knew what she was doing. She um, also is the creator of Who Would Wear, I believe, the Target brand, uh, clothing line brand. Um, yeah, so sis knew what she was doing. She already, She's already in Target, so that's a plus. I should have known, you know, before even trying to pack all the product that it was going to be a hit, a hit. So, yeah, like I said, this is the finished look very natural very giving very much skin okay thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video so sad to say bye but bye